Hello, welcome to Right Decisions. I'm Tammy Moore Johnson, your host. It is my pleasure to come in your homes weekly with a show that's created to provide tools for success. Today, we're looking at the results for my show, Fitness at Any Age. You may remember just three months ago, we had Jimmy, the fat burning coach leech, to the test. We put him to the test by giving him two cont contestants to get fit. We had Marlene, who is 60 and a vegetarian, and Jessica, a 15-year-old who desired to get fit. Remember, more than 50% of American adults do not get enough physical activity to provide health benefits, and 25% adults are not active at all in their leisure time. And more than a third of young people in grades 9 through 12 do not regularly engage in vigorous, intensive physical activity. So let's see if Jimmy was able to meet the challenge. Welcome back, Jimmy. Thank you. And Marlene and Jessica, we're so glad to have you back. So tell me about the results overall. Well, Tammy, it's been really good. Um, um, uh, I've been so excited for these ladies. They, they've done well over the past three months. Um, I want to first talk about uh, Miss Marlene here, uh, who is 60 years old. She's, she's done well. Um, even being a vegetarian, which is uh, usually uh, kind of difficult. Yes. Uh, no, I wouldn't say <laughs> difficult, but we have to do a little bit uh, different thing when it comes to food. So because uh, of the protein, right? Right, mm -hmm. and that's because you know we, we may not. Sometime a vegetarian may not get the right amount of protein that they need mm -hmm. in order to build like we needed to. Uh, so after putting the uh, food plan together for her, uh, I had her implement uh, the amino acids, mm -hmm. uh, the BCAAs, which is uh, nothing more than branch chain amino acids. <clears throat> And what that is actually mm -hmm. is uh, amino acids is, is nothing more than protein that's already broken down in its simplest mm -hmm. form. Uh, so rather than her eating meat per se, uh, I just have her take the amino acids pre-workout, after workout, and maybe another time you know, before she go to bed, just make sure we get, get those amino acids that she may not get in her nutrition because she's a vegetarian. So how would uh, she take the amino acid? What, it, what form it, is it? It comes in powder form. Okay. Uh, you simply uh, put it in a bottle of water or uh, just mix it in a cup of hiver and, and uh, just drink it. And it's, it's, again, it's basically protein already broken down in its simplest form. Mm -hmm. um, not that vegetarians uh, not not able to get their uh, amino acids that they need. The thing with vegetarians are, are that uh, they don't get the protein, excuse me, the amino acids that they need mm -hmm. because vegetables are low in amino acids. Mm -hmm. Not that they don't have it, they're just low. Mm -hmm. Where the meat source is a lot higher in amino acids. Mm -hmm. So to make sure she got enough, I just had to implement the amino acids. Mm -hmm. that, that make the big difference in her. Okay, so what you try to do with Marlene is to build more muscles right. by giving her the protein while she's working out. Is that what you're saying? Right, the protein which she got uh, from the vegetables, uh, but at, we added the aminos to make sure she okay. get enough amino acids. Because in order to build muscle, you have to have uh, uh, all your amino acids, which there are 22 forms of amino mm -hmm. acids, and some uh, your body do make, some your body do not make. Mm -hmm. Well, in order to build muscle, the ones that your body do not make, you must get them in through your diet. Okay. And being a vegetarian, a lot of time, you know, because the vegetarian sources, uh, the vegetable sources are very low in amino acids, that's why I had her add those. And the end result was uh, Marlene, she, uh, she lost a total of uh, 17 pounds of body fat, but she also added two pounds of muscle. Now, I think if she was eating lean meats, <laughs> <laughs> I think she would have gained a little bit more, but, but she did still put on about two to three pounds of muscle over that course of time. And, you know, for somebody who's 60 years old, that's pretty good, actually. It is you know. excellent. Congratulations so, to you. Yeah. So tell me about your experience, Marlon. How was it for you as the contestant? It was wonderful. Um, I was really grateful to be able to do this. Uh, the food, too, he also gave, his menu plan gave me an amount of protein to eat. So I really got used to just looking for, like, like soy milk I drink. So I would look for the soy milk with the highest amount of protein. And mm -hmm. I, you know, I just got used to looking for any added source of protein. Um, that I could get, and, and I'm not vegan, so so okay. I ate eggs, and so um, so that gave me a goal of protein, um, and I did take the BCAs, like you said, um, and the um, training in the gym was just wonderful. Talk um, about that. Well, I've told I've told Jimmy I I think he has a gift mm -hmm. um, for this. Not not only does he have a lot of experience, mm -hmm. but I think he has a gift for being able to really. 
um, see each person I, I, from across the gym. He'll he'll notice mm -hmm. that I'm not doing something quite right, or he'll notice you know it might I may be it looks like I might be hurting or something like that, and know exactly the weight to to use. So. Um, very different than any trainer I've ever had before. So awesome. Um, so I really appreciate it. Speaking that. of weights, before we go to Jessica, I want to emphasize and just talk about because usually women feel like it's difficult to get started and get fit. Here you have a 60 year old huh? and a vegetarian who's getting stronger. Talk about the difference in what she was lifting in the beginning and then now. Well, um, of course, I, I always say I. I treat everybody like a baby in the, in the beginning. I, have, I do have some clients that treat me like an embryo. <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but it doesn't matter, you know, your age or anything. Uh, what matters is how you start. You know, you want to want to start at a very low level. And what I do, I give them the lightest amount of weight as possible. Sometimes just their own body weight in the beginning, and we want to make them progress from there. And as they progress, as I see them progressing, then I add a little bit more each time. And that's to keep the body challenging because uh, if I don't make it more challenging for her, then there's no reason for her body to change. Mm -hmm. And add a little bit more weight each time, uh, that makes her body adapt to what she's doing. Mm -hmm. And the way your body adapts is by getting stronger. Mm -hmm. where, is she at, where is she now as far as lifting? She's actually coming along pretty good. Um, you know, she's, she's handling some 15 pound, 20 pound dumbbells and some things. And, uh, so she's doing pretty good. And you started out like with oh, two pounds. Nothing. Like, like three, nothing. What, nothing. No weight. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is extraordinary. From three months, starting out with no weights to get to 15, 20 pounds lifting. And I think at the last segment, you're going to show yes. actually what you did with both young, la young ladies mm -hmm. <laughs> at the end. Right. Well, let's talk about Jessica. And then I want to also um, go into women overall in our second segment. So let's talk about Jessica. Jessica, what kind of results did you get? The results I didn't expect. All right. <laughs> right. I've shaped, I actually saw my before and after pictures, and I shaped down in areas that I didn't even notice. Like, I just thought that my weight loss would be gradual, and I think, I really think there was like a dramatic um, outpour of like topical sort mm -hmm. of things. Mm -hmm. But when I saw my before and after pictures, it was, it was crazy of what happened to me. Yeah, yeah, I can see the difference in your face. It's, it's thinner, you're slimmer from um, uh, when we taped three months ago. Uh, congratulations to you Thank for doing you. a fabulous job. I need to take a break, but when we come back, I want you to talk about how the eating, well, how was that for you, the eating habits, and you talk more about her results. We'll be right back. There are two big mistakes you or a family member can make buying Medicare supplement insurance. One, choosing the wrong plan. There are many choices and they can be confusing. You need a knowledgeable professional to help select the right plan for you. Two, paying too much. The Medicare benefits of each plan are the same no matter which insurance company you choose, but the cost can vary tremendously, which is why you need SelectQuote Senior. An experienced SelectQuote professional will carefully explain the pros and cons of each plan. Then, impartially shop a select group of highly rated insurance companies like these to help find your best rate. Get the expertise and savings SelectQuote is known for. Just call 1-800-401-3641, 1-800-401-3641. SelectQuote Senior, we shop, you save. Hey, when Bob got into the accident, I was terrified. His injuries were so severe, but once we knew he was going to be okay, what then? I couldn't go back to work for a long time, and we got way behind on our bills. We had hired an attorney, but when our case kept dragging on, we didn't know how we were going to get by. Thankfully, our attorney knew about Oasis Legal Finance. Oasis looked at our case, and before our case was settled, they got us the money. The very next day. At first, I wasn't so sure. What if we lost the case? How would we be able to pay back Oasis? But then I found out if we did lose, we wouldn't have to pay them back, so there was no risk in doing it. No risk. There are no out-of-pocket costs and no payments until your case is settled. If you lose your case, you don't have to repay Oasis. There's no risk. Call Oasis now to see how much money you can get before your case settles. Call now, 1-800-826-0801. 
1-800-826-0801. Welcome back to Right Decisions. We're talking about fitness at any age. And before we left for break, we were speaking with Jessica. Jessica, you were going to tell me about your um, food experience. How was that? It was challenging because food is the reason I'm here. <laughs> and so throughout the process, I had to really rethink mm -hmm. what is actually food and what is just manufactured to, you know, get so I can give my money to it. And it's usually like in my school, mm -hmm. like the healthy part, the healthy part of the school food mm -hmm. is not. It's a bunch of sugar and like they want to say that it's wheat and it's just brown, like mm -hmm. processed bread. And so I really had to think about that and realize that it's not what I need in my life instead of what I want in my life. So Jimmy really trained you on how to select healthy food, like live food, yeah. food that will help your body, not just something that's substance to put into your body is yes, what you're saying. Yeah. Right, that's great. I, I'm just so proud of you. And, you. and if more people, if we could start when we're your age, when we get older, we would just, I think we would find that we won't get ill. Isn't that right, Jimmy? Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about her results as far as the uh, measurements or either weight or what have you. Uh, well, Jessica did uh, really well. Um, uh, she lost a total of 25 pounds. <gasps> 25 uh, pounds? Yeah, 25 pounds. Congratulations. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And, uh, yeah, she's done well. And uh, the biggest thing, you know, even coming from someone her age and, and in school, and just what she mentioned, I don't want to just train somebody. Yes, yes. I want to change the way they think. Absolutely. And that goes further than anything. I always, I always say, any trainer can train you, mm -hmm. but my goal is to train, train you and change the way you think. Because if I do that, then I've done something for you. Mm -hmm. I don't want to just say do three sets of this and three sets of that. I want to change the way you think. think change the way you think about food. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I've done with her. So now when she look at the school menu, mm -hmm. she looks at it a little bit different. You know, mm -hmm. She realizes what's real food and what's not real food. and that's gonna make the big difference. So she know if that real food is not there, she has to take it with her to make sure she get what she needs. Mm -hmm. So I set her up on a, um, a food plan that consisted of the right amount of protein for her because you know, as a young adult, we wanna make sure her protein is adequate. We don't want too much protein because too much protein can hinder her, mm -hmm. uh, hinder her weight loss. So we wanna set her protein at a very low level and uh, also implement the right carbohydrates with every meal. We don't take away carbohydrates, we eat carbohydrates every meal. Uh, as long as she's taking in the right amount for her all throughout the day, she's gonna continue to lose. Uh, so we don't do the thing as far as taking away carbohydrates, no carbs, all this Atkins stuff, we don't do that. Mm -hmm. Eat carbs in the right amount, the right kind, and just watch your body change. So for a teenager, you said it would be less protein? Well, uh, not only a teenager, anyone, but you know, because she's young, uh, her body don't need as much protein as mm -hmm. someone who uh, a little bit older and um, needs more muscle, but as a teenager, oh, I see. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I bring her protein down a little bit lower uh, because one thing about protein, uh, and I'll say this, your body becomes very smart. Um, if you take in too much protein, especially at her age, her body will start converting that protein. It's going to do what you call divert and adapt. Hmm. It's going to divert to something else and adapt to what you're doing, meaning it's going to take the, higher, the protein that's not needed if you're taking it too high and the protein does not need it, your body will begin to take that protein and convert it into glucose. Mm, and then wow. your body will take that and burn that for fuel instead of using body fat. So that extra protein, her body just gonna make fuel out of it. So that way her body wouldn't have to burn any fat. So what I do, I will bring the protein down lower so that her body won't do that. All the protein that's coming in is being used for building. Okay, mm. so that's the thing. We want to make sure our protein level is not too high. Now, you know, the typical person mm. wouldn't realize this. So, <laughs> <laughs> mm. so I mean, is this something that you learn from being a bodybuilder? Yes, or? yes, 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 yes. I've <laughs> I've done this so long, and uh, you know, you know, everybody said protein gets lots of protein, lots of protein. Sure, you must get lots of protein, but you got to get the right amount. Again, if your protein intake is too high, your body will use that protein as fuel. Mm. That is what we call gluconeogenesis, mm. uh, meaning your body is taking protein and turning it into fuel. It's making uh, glucose out of non-carbohydrate sources is what it's doing. Mm -hmm. And it's going to do that to keep your body from burning fat. So all we do, we wow. just bring the protein down and you know, she'll continue to drop. And uh, we keep our carbohydrates. And, and what we do with the carbohydrates, we actually uh, give her enough carbohydrates to supply her body with energy not enough to be stored as fat. So we want to give it the right amount every two to three hours. 
Uh, because carbohydrates is actually what run the metabolism. It is that what run the metabolism. Mm, the right carbohydrates. The right carbohydrates in the right amount. That is, is that what run the metabolism. If so you take them away, the metabolism is going to slow. So how will we know, like, you know, someone that, I'm in my 40s, mm -hmm. she's in her 60s, she's a teenager, how will we know what protein, what carbs, what balance to do? Well, it's all based on body weight. I have my own, you know, formula that I use that I came up with uh, years ago, you know, based on my own experiences. Um, so all I do, I set the protein intake based on their body weight. That's why nobody's diet is going to be the same. You know, you know, you ever see people, you know, you know, somebody did some particular diet and they'll say, Look, I lost 10 pounds. And then they'll share it with their friend. They say, you know, why don't you try this diet? I lost mm -hmm. 10 pounds doing it. Why don't you try it? Well, it won't work for everybody. If that worked for everybody, then we would just take that diet and give it to everybody in America and we'll that's solve true. obesity. That's so true. we know that's not going to work. Mm -hmm. So what we got to do, we got to base everybody based on their size, their body weight, their age. All that is a factor. So we set, I set their protein based on that, their body weight, age, and uh, then once we set the, the, the protein up, uh, uh, balance the carbs throughout the day, give them a little bit of healthy fats. And all that's going to run the metabolism. As long as the caloric intake is less than what they're uh, expending, they're going to lose. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. So yeah, you can take, that, take those carbs in all day long and still burn. So what about their uh, exercise? Did, did that vary too? Would that vary for a? Yeah, I oh, mean, ab um, absolutely. You know, mm -hmm. uh, you know Marlene, you know, being a little older and you know some lo muscle loss as she's aged, so we had to take it a little bit different approach. You know, um, you know, again starting out with no weights and moving up, but Jessica, being younger, mm -hmm. she was able to uh, do a little bit more and, and you know, do things a little bit more challenging. And I really wanted to challenge. That's a young body, so we wanted you know, Put you know, really to the test. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. So where is she? What is she lifting now? <laughs> well, Jessica's gotten really strong. Uh, you know, even losing the 25 pounds, uh, she's actually gained some lean muscle too uh, in that process and. Uh, she's, you know, I think she can handle 20, uh, f uh, 30, 40 pounds now. So she's, she's done well. Yeah. I enjoy beating her down. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> now, Jimmy, I, I want to talk about the women. You had some older women, mm -hmm. other women that you've gotten results with, with. Just talk about that for a little bit and then um, we're going to do a break and then you're going to show us what you did with these ladies. Yeah, I, I, um, I actually have, you know, all ages, you know, uh, my average client in a way from 40 to, uh, uh, 60 years old, but I do have a 70 year old who's done really well and she's been with me for about uh, three or more years and she's doing really good so I'm I'm very excited for all the ladies and uh, I hope to do more with these ladies. Alright great, so we're going to take a break and when you come back I'm just going to turn it over to you to show us what you did with Marlene and Jessica doing a three month challenge. We'll be right back. When Bob got to the accident, I was terrified. His injuries were so severe, but once we knew he was gonna be okay, what then? I couldn't go back to work for a long time and we got way behind on our bills. We had hired an attorney, but when our case kept dragging on, we didn't know how we were gonna get by. Thankfully, our attorney knew about Oasis Legal Finance. Oasis looked at our case and before our case was settled, they got us the money. The very next day. At first I wasn't so sure. What if we lost the case? How would we be able to pay back Oasis? But then I found out if we did lose, we wouldn't have to pay them back. So there was no risk in doing it. No risk. There are no out-of-pocket costs and no payments until your case is settled. If you lose your case, you don't have to repay Oasis. There's no risk. Call Oasis now to see how much money you can get before your case settles. Call now, 1-800-826-0801. 1-800-826-0801. So who's going to do what? I'll pack the dead batteries. Great. I'll only put what I don't need into a duffel bag. Perfect. That's totally unhelpful. No problem. Meanwhile, I will try to comfort everyone by speaking in a calm voice. And who is going to handle supplies? I can forget to do a list for us. Thanks, pal. We couldn't be any less prepared. I'm proud of you guys. Talk to your kids about who to call, where to meet, what to pack. Visit ready.gov kids for tips and information. Imagine being able to clear your breakouts fast with a revolutionary new acne treatment that's actually good for your skin. Announcing all new Proactive Plus, the combination of acne medicine plus ultra perfecting skincare. Television star Kristen Ritter calls it a miracle. 
I love the new Proactive Plus. It's fighting all my breakouts, and my skin is like porcelain. The results are astonishing. Your skin is not only clear, but smooth and sexy. It's our smartest, fastest, most effective solution ever. And now, new skincare is in every step to balance acne-prone skin with needed hydration and more. I have to tell you, this, this is different. Just look at my before and after pictures. That doesn't lie. So grab your phone and dial the number on your screen now because today shipping is free and get three free gifts, a $96 value for just $29.95. Call now. You will love your skin. Welcome back to Right Decisions. Jimmy, you're gonna show us some things that you had the young ladies doing the last yes. three months. Yes. Great. Uh, Marlene, if you come over here. We're gonna do a, uh, I had Marlene start out with a, um, a, uh, just a squat off the bench first. Uh, so what we did, no weight in the beginning. So Marlene, if you take a little wider stance so we can, uh, yeah, there you go. Now just kind of hold your hands out in front of you. Hold your hand over. And just stand up and sit back down. There you go. Now touch that bench right back up. Now what you want to do here, you want to make sure you hold your chest out. Keep that chest out. There you go. Now by keeping that chest out and make sure that butt go back, we're going to keep that load off that lower back. Okay, even with your own body weight, we've got to keep the load off the lower back. Okay, now, that's enough. Now, as she progressed and got a little bit stronger, which you can see that she can do this, so what we did was just added some weight, and Marlene gonna go ahead, and now what we're gonna do is add a shoulder press to this, okay? So now, Marlene, you're gonna stand up and press up, same time. There you go, back down, good. Yeah, and get a little, a little bit more challenging. All right, give me two more here. Good, and last time. Good, good, go ahead and have a seat. All right, now Marlene, I want you to move into some curls, bicep curls. Uh, put your feet together. All right, always hold your chest up. Chest up, nice and high. Think high, open chest is what you want to think. All right, weight down by your side. All right, we're gonna do some bicep curls. Turn your dumbbells this way. And you wanna curl that weight up. Good, and back down. There you go. Think high, open chest. Every time you come up, high, open chest. Don't lean back. Because if you lean back, we're getting a hyperextended back. And we don't want a hyperextended back because that's going to be uh, some trouble to the lower back. Good. All the way down. You got to make sure that arm extends all the way down. Good. You don't want to shorten that range of motion. You want to go all the way down every time. Good. Remember, high chest as you come up. And give me two more. And relax. Good. Go ahead and put that weight down for me. Now, we're going to move over to, you stay right there. We're going we're gonna to move over to uh, Jessica here who is a teenager, who's a little bit more uh, strong. So uh, Jessica, if you go ahead and grab your weight. All right, Jessica, we're gonna do uh, the same thing for Jessica. However, being Jessica uh, younger, uh, stronger, so she was able to uh, jump right into the weights right away. Of course not this, but she's worked her way up. I want you to do the same exercise she just did. Of, of course, we're not using the bench this time because she's, she's a little bit stronger. So go ahead and put the weight on, uh, up on your shoulder. Now we're gonna squat down and press up. Squat down and press up. There you go. Nice and slow. Now you want to make sure you sit back on those heels every time. That's it. And when you sit back on the heels, that's going to get those glute muscles. There you go. Now just give me about three more. That's one. Two. Last one. Three. All right, good job. Now bring the weight down by your side. And again, because Jessica, a little bit, uh, she's a little bit stronger, a little heavier weight, we're going to do the same bicep curl that Marlene did. Feet together. All right. And you want to put your feet together and place that weight by your side. Every time you come down, you want to make sure that weight come down by your side. Every time, not in front of you, you want to come by, by your side. All right, go ahead and curl up. Good. That's it. Think high, open chest. Lift up. There you go. Every time down by your side. And what we're doing, we're lengthening that muscle at the bottom there. If you, don't, if you do not go all the way down, you're keeping that muscle short. In order to tear a muscle down, you must lengthen that muscle in order to, uh, to tear it down, okay? All right, give me two more. See, now it's becoming challenging. Pick it up. <laughs> there you go. All right. And one more time. Good. Awesome, awesome. Good job. Now, what we're doing, uh, go ahead and put the weight down there. The reason why we lengthen that muscle, because, again, in order to uh, tear a muscle down, to build a muscle, we got to tear it down first. And as that muscle lengthens, it tears. I mean, you can't tear, uh, you can't tear anything down unless you lengthen it. Uh, and, and, and stretch it out of its normal length. So what we're doing, tearing the muscle down, then she feed her body, that protein that we talked about earlier, 
we feed her body that protein. That protein actually uh, repair that muscle. That's how muscle develops. So I want you to go ahead and try some uh, four uh, lunges, okay? So grab your fi uh, 15 pounds. Step, take a step back. Alternating forward lunges, so one leg at a time, all right? So try it. And back. Good. And back. There you go. Now, there you go. Good. Very challenging. Good. And let's get one more on each side. And relax, relax. All right, relax. Put your weight down. We're going to go back to Marlene. Marlene, you're going to do some body weight uh, dips. What we're going to do, we're going to turn to the side here. Okay, now this is very challenging. This is a, this is a body weight dip. A dip is very good for the, uh, uh, the female upper body. So we can go to do some dips off the bench. Okay. Right there. Oops. Okay. Down and back up. Good. Keep your butt off the bench. Right there. Good. Hold your chest up. Good. There you go. Great, up, great upper body exercise for the woman. And give me two more. And there you go. Relax. So yeah, uh, dips are like squats for the upper body. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to take this back over to Tammy. And uh, there you go. Thank you, Jimmy. Great job again, ladies. Our objective at Right Decisions is to leave you with tools and strategies to make your life easier and more successful. There are many benefits of exercising and getting fit, and it doesn't matter how old you are, you can get fit. For more information on how you can get fit at any age, contact Jimmy, the fat burning coach at New Body Loss and Fitness Center in Columbia or Florence. Email him at jleach350 at yahoo.com or call him at 803-788-6900. At Right Decisions, we just don't want you to prosper here on earth. We want you to prosper eternally as well. Why get fit and in shape and healthy and not know what's going to happen to you when you die? There's no right decision without making the best and ultimate decision of all times. That is making Jesus Christ your Lord. If you do not know Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, I encourage you to do so right now. Just simply believe with your heart that Jesus died for your sins and confess out loud Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Now when Jesus returns, you will be able to join him. Thank you for tuning in to Right Decisions, a show with a positive message. If you'd like to contact me, email me at TuesdayMateRightDecisions at gmail.com. Have a wonderful week, and we'll see you next Sunday. Goodbye for now.